a big day today. Went to the storage auction this morning. There was actually like six or seven units to start with that some people paid right at the last second. Um, this particular place auctions them off after like two months. So, and they're usually really cheap. Um, uh, last time I went, I bought one for five and one for 30 or something like that. But anyway, they ended up with just one unit and a lot of people showed up few couples and uh, people that I guess just don't understand how to do auction. They stand there and hog up the whole thing forever just looking instead of giving everybody a chance to look. I just sit there and daydream. Um, this particular unit was a 5x10 and it's out in the daylight so you know it's not hard to see anything. It's not like you have to have a light or anything. And uh it was, it had a lot of stuff in it, but nice and neatly done. And the first thing you see is three huge camo, really ultimately nice um, uh, luggage, like um, duffel bags, like heavy duty duffel bags. So now I'm going, yeah, military. <coughs> and so then there's probably probably 20 or 30 what looks like ammo boxes stacked up in the back probably more than that um uh my ex george he he he's an avid uh, gun person and um he used to put all his stuff like that so i knew as soon as i saw it it was going to be guns and reload 100 percent and um and then, you know, with the camo bags, to me, it looked like somebody military. Um, so, it was all put in there nice and neatly and everything. And uh, it wasn't, like, totally full or anything. It was just put in there really nice. And so, there was, you know, quite a bit of stuff in there. It just was stacked in there nicely. And uh, so, then, I was like, damn... I know this sucker going to be high, and I'd have gone to about a hundred, but they were bidding away, and and I was like, man. So just reload stuff right now is a big value. A lot of that stuff's hard to get. So, um, you know, no telling. I'm just saying. But anyway, so we're all standing there, and I I second the bid. Open bid was five. I second the bid, and then it went around, and I, I second, I think 10 was what I'd bid, because it was going too fast, so I knew it might get real pricey, so I didn't want to be a, a butthead, you know, and be bidding it up for no reason, because I was watching people's eyes, and this, this one guy I know that's pretty nice, uh, he's, he, he kind of got real serious about it all of a sudden. And I don't think he even cared about it at first. Until I walked by his buddy and I said, I'm telling you right now, that's all reload stuff. Right now. And, uh, so, then he started kind of bidding away. And then, I, and then I, this younger couple bid a couple times. And then the one older couple bid one or two times. And then it started really dueling out when it hit two under it. I've never seen them go that high over there. And it was kind of dueling out and it went like, I think it was three, 290 or 300 was the going bid. So, uh, I knew that, that dude banked on it. It was my buddy that got it. So, um, I knew that he was going to do real well. So, as soon as the auction's over, he like tells his buddy to get the truck, <laughs> and because uh, they brought a truck, and so uh, last time they brought a little bitty car, and so uh, um, he starts pulling stuff out of there, and like the second thing he pulls out is a super heavy duty bulletproof vest that 
looks really good, okay? And I was like, dude, right there, right there, 200 bucks at least. And, and he's hauling that stuff out of there, and he's he knows what he's got. And the other day, he bought one with a whole bunch of armor in it and stuff, and had it all sold while they had it loaded in the truck, rolling. Had already had it all sold before he got to his destination. Um, but this one had been too sweet. Oh, my gosh. Um, you know, I wish I knew more about guns and gun stock, but my daughter's dad's way off in there, and he'd tell you all about it. It's a shame he didn't get to go to that one, because he would have gone cuckoo over that. Uh, it was a sweet deal, that's for sure. Um, because, like, Walmart stopped selling guns, and, and, um, you can get some at the pawn shops. And then the, um, I know when I used to do flea market in, in Dothan, uh, they didn't want people selling guns out there anymore. Um, so I don't know, but it was incredible at the auction day. You should have been there. Woo woo. Um, but there's, there's lots of them now. So you have to check them out. And, uh, there are some that are online. Um, some people are into all that. Um, I just don't know if I would want to fool with that too much. Um, I, I kind of rather go to the in-person auction. Because, I, you know, it's sort of like being on, on eBay or at some of these auction sites. You just feel like there's a bunch of people bidding it up to screw you around. You know? And, and I'd rather be there in person where I can kind of feel the crowd and see what it is. Uh, I did good on the last auction, but I didn't buy anything today. Um, I really didn't want to, and I didn't even want to go to the auction. But it was a very educational experience, I got to tell you. That's for darn sure. It was really neat. So, uh, I just thought I'd let you know about that. Um, check your local area. Check on these auctions. Um, really, even if you don't want to buy anything, they're a lot of fun to go to. You'll learn a lot. And if this person would figure out which way they're actually going to go while I'm trying to drive through. But uh, um, you'll learn a lot. Uh, and it's really entertaining. Um, and if you get to, you know, know the people a little bit, they're pretty nice. Some of the regulars today didn't come. There's one lady that does the Picola flea markets all the time. And she loves all that clothes and all that used stuff and everything, and I'm just not major on a lot of that. It's kind of a hassle. It can be good, but it's just a hassle because then you've got to, you know, pay for storage and stuff um, to put it somewhere. And um, to me, I just, you know, I, I just, I don't want it to cost me money. That's the thing. So, I hope you enjoyed that. But again, like I say, Go check out the storage auctions, and and uh, you might be surprised what you find. Um, the biggest thing about storage auctions is, first of all, you want to see what the rate is per month of that particular unit. How many years it's been there that they've rented it. And then how big the unit is. And that will give you kind of an idea of if it's something you really want to bid on. And that's without even, you know, looking at it open. Those, those are the biggest factors that I find, the big three factors that I find, before the doors are even opened on them. So, anyway, I hope you have a really great day. And if you do buy a storage auction, be kind enough to return important documents and stuff like that to the owners, their pictures and stuff, because that's the proper thing to do. Alright, talk to you later. Love ya.